Welcome back to the charismatic voice. I have never before been so invested in a singer on America's Got Talent. Putri Ariani stole my heart with her audition, and I am so eager to hear her perform more. I know this is going to be great, so you can expect that I will pause and go back a lot to examine moments of brilliance because understanding those will help us better appreciate just how great she is. Let's get to it. I have mountains. I have run through to be with you, only to be with you, but I still haven't found <laughs> what I'm looking <laughs> He's so in love with her. I don't blame him one bit either. Uh, I think I felt tears hit my eyes at least twice. So we'll go back and discuss what she did that made that happen. Um, but I just have to say right off the bat, an acapella entry like this with no instruments is so hard. It is the absolute most difficult kind of entrance that a vocalist can have. I don't think people realize how vulnerable it feels to just go sing on stage by yourself. It's so easy with nerves going like that, that the singer is going to lose sense of the center of the pitch. It's very, very easy to get off pitch. It is so easy for everybody to hear all of the nerves in every single place. There's nothing to hide behind. There are also the most nerves going through a singer at that point. Starting is the hardest thing to do. You have the rush at that moment. It is all coming to existence. You are about to sing right, for this enormous crowd, one of the biggest moments of your life. Can you imagine if you went on stage and anything that you could have used as an anchor before was gone? It's, that's what happens when a singer sings without piano, a, a backing band, anything like that, and she just did it for a minute long. That is so hard to do. I, I can't, uh, that's, I don't know, I'm floored. I, I'm amazed that she actually chose to do that. It's one of the most ballsy things. Okay, we're gonna go back to the beginning and talk about a lot of moments in here. I have mountains. Okay, there are little tiny slides that she did right there at the end of mountains and it, like just slid a teeny bit down and that increased the longing in her voice. I don't know if that was a decision that was very calculated before or if that was just a feeling that tumbled into her voice, but the effect of that, that slide, that was one of the things that first made my hair stand up. It's mountains. Right there. I That and that. I think that was one of the moments. Oh my gosh, yep, that's it. <laughs> There's this like slight delay effect of the like the tears or like the pre-tears that start to hit where you feel your eyes start to water a little bit. Oh my gosh. 
because the way that she sings Fields, it makes me feel that all of the emotion of everything that she has had to go through. I mean, like, think blind girl from Indonesia. Like, that, you just, whoa, the weight of that and the extreme journey, all of the emotion from that seemed to get packed into that word fields. And you can hear almost a closing that happens in the vocal tract with that emotion. That's because the vagus nerve is traveling down into this same area. And it's almost like she gets a little bit choked up and then finds the strength to continue. Gosh. Right at the end, I'm like, oh my God. So much emotion in the end. Wow. <laughs> Sorry. I'm... I am fighting back tears just from that word. Gosh. Only to be with you. I love the slide off of that. There's like a satisfaction in Only being with someone. Only to be with you. You know that she's singing Be With You as being on stage here at America's Got Talent in this moment that she knows this is her moment. Oh my gosh. Her subtext is so strong. Be with you. I love the smile on the ooh there too. But I still have a <laughs> What I'm looking I, you can hear the nerves in four. It actually dips like into a teensy bit in the pitch as she's leaning into that. That is, oh, shoot, it's so gorgeous. I love the way she pops up high, of course. It's unexpected and it's so floaty and free. But then the moment that gets me is four. So that was four and fields. Those are the two moments where I just feel like my tears are coming on. The emotion. It's all about the emotion. You feel that heart just kind of charge in there through it. God. I believe in the kingdom come, then all the colors will bleed into one, bleed into one. But yes, I'm still running. You broke the bonds and you lose a chance. Carry the cross. I'm my shame. Oh, my shame. You know I Um, whew. I need to just take a breath here because, wow. Um, I love the way when she started in with the piano, there was a confidence in there that she was delivering message. She knew this was exactly where she was supposed to be at this time. Every bit that she's singing is convicted. It's amazing. And then that convicted emotion also connects to her highs which have a vulnerability in them but there's confidence in her vulnerability because she knows that she is doing the right thing people often underestimate how much emotion can impact the voice if you have to sing through a traumatic time there are all kinds of extra things that can develop in your musculature of how you're singing, you can hold trauma from something for years in your voice. There are ways that people learn how to sing around um, particular instances and they might have a, a muscle that sort of gets out of balance there. And you can literally carry that with you for years, for a lifetime possibility or possibly. And she here, it's so clear that 
She has everything in line and she has her emotion in line behind her technique. It is there. She is ready with her subtext. She's giving it all to us without any reserve because she is just ready for this. I'm going to go back. I'm amazed. <laughs> I believe in the kingdom come Then all the colors will bleed into one Bleed into one I'm just, I realized she was talking about colors there And I was like, well, she doesn't even see colors Like, what, does she hear colors? Like, <laughs> That moment just struck me really hard. Oh gosh, it's beautiful. The one, believe one more time. Colors will there we go. Into one, into one. Mm, nice choices on that run. Yes, I'm still running. So much fullness in her you sound. Broke the bunch and you lose a chance. <laughs> the cross I'm my shame. Oh, my shame. This moment where she's got both a little, just a tiny bit of, like the tiniest bit of distortion that's coming in, but she's also like breaking the voice at the same time. I love the way that that just sounds like an overflowing of fierce emotion. You know I believe okay, everyone is thinking, oh, that sounds like Mariah Carey. And you're right. You're right. But there is a reason why she's legendary. Because this is, that's a very specific technical thing to do. And it can be difficult to develop. Some people will naturally get it at first but then there's extra bits that are developed after it. So what's happening is Putri is singing in a lower register at first, and then she switches and flips up to a higher register. This is, it's not just a pitch jump, okay? It's different muscle coordination in her larynx that's causing this switch. The first sound is TA dominance, thyroid is the muscle that's controlling that lower register. And then cricothyroid, CT dominant, is the second register. So lower, higher register. And she flips into that almost like she was yodeling into it. And then what I think is super beautiful is the way she controls the airflow coming out of it. She sees it all the way through to the end. Because a lot of people will use a lot of airflow just to make that flip happen and they won't be able to continue to trickle it out the way that she does here. Let's go back to a little bit further. Here. You know I it's beautiful. But I still what a great costume. What I'm looking for. Huh. But I still haven't found what I'm looking for. Oh, I love the like the uh, kind of creak that she does at the end of that part. And then in this section in particular, the way she's able to go between confidence and introspection using different kinds of vocal timbre is gorgeous. I, I think the a hushed tap sound where she's letting more air flow through. Ah, and then she gets a stronger, more full fold. So if you're, if you're looking at her vocal folds, we'd see more engagement, essentially. There's more of that, which creates a more condensed, uh, thicker sound. Go back just a little bit. <laughs> That's a full, oh, and then went to the hush. She's going like this between those sounds. Oh, I love that creek. Oh, that's good. But I still <laughs> like, oh my gosh, she gets waterworks out of me, guys. 
<laughs> this is why I'm so excited about her. Like, I don't care if a performance is technically perfect. Hers is like technically astonishing, yes. But it's when you have that much emotion that I'm passionate, I'm really truly passionate about a singer. And she goes into that belt, that top belt that is so hard to do. She's got it so gathered. She's belting super high for a really long time. But then she lets the emotion overflow. Like she commits even past where most people can even attempt to commit. It's insane. Oh. I don't know if that moment when her voice starts to sound like it's shredding just a teensy bit, I don't know if that was deliberate. I don't know if that's what she wanted to do in rehearsals. However, here, it sounds like the tearing of a heart and I am so drawn in and my heart pumps faster because of it. That's part of what makes those tears come to my eyes. If her resort, if something in a performance doesn't go exactly like she wants to, is to pump more heart into it, that is like, I'm, I'm there for all of those performances. It is incredible. And maybe it was exactly deliberate too. I don't know, but whatever it was, it was freaking fantastic. Again. Oh my gosh, okay, I'm going back some more. This might have been the end of the performance. Uh, I'm not sure if uh, we might have some talking afterwards and do you want to watch the whole clip? You should definitely go to AGT and watch the whole clip. I'm going to go back and talk about this final moment. Again, remember what I was talking about earlier about how singing without any accompaniment underneath is so difficult. It's also incredibly difficult when you're wrapping up a song and you've got nothing underneath you to figure out the perfect timing for each note. And this might be because her ears listen for silence and she must have some of the most incredible ears on earth she understands how to time these notes perfectly what i'm looking it's amazing to me how each of those notes were so precise yet so full of emotion. There's like a teensy bit of wavering, like there's like a vibrato that almost wants to come through it. She controls it just enough to let there be emotion, but not make it feel, you don't want it to be so perfect that it feels cold, right? This is like, oh gosh, one more time. What I'm looking Love that flip. That's also a really great example of what I spoke about earlier about registers and pitch not necessarily um, always being the same. Higher pitches don't have to be in a higher register. She starts on a lower pitch, lower register, goes up to a higher pitch and higher register, but then as she comes down, she's going to pitches that were actually lower than her starting pitch, but she's staying in a higher register. But I'm looking Flip, stays in the higher register. great control over registers. I love the teeth in that sound. And I love the amount of time she takes between that, the silence. I'm gonna go back one more time because really this whole final part with nothing underneath her started a bit earlier. I'm gonna let it run. Just pay attention to how 
incredibly timed everything is. Gosh, breaks my heart. <laughs> go back for one other small detail here that I didn't even notice before. When she takes in her breath before that last note, there's actually a little shudder that you hear in it. That's how nervous she is. You hear it in her breathing, yet she just channels it into her voice. You hear that? That little shake? <laughs> Love the vibrato release there, too. Oh. Thank you. Wow. In the comments after Putri's performance in this show, Simon talks about how you two gave her permission to perform this song live. I think that's so incredible. And it speaks to how Putri is able to reach people across the globe. Her emotion is just human and it overflows into her voice. She's such an incredible artist. I can't wait to see where she goes next. If you want to see that first time that I heard her, it's over here. It's stamped in my memory and I hope it will be in yours too. And I hope you'll join me in wishing her much luck and watching her throughout the season of AGT. May you fall more in love with music every day.